All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we have something really cool and I like it very well. Uh, I was posting this in the morning also in our uh, futures trading channel uh, for the community members, but I will present this also live. So what we can basically see now is ob objective. So we are now um, below the one day max. So this means, so the one day max, the one day min is calculated um, uh, on the vol volatility. So we are above this. And this is no wondering. So because we have a great move overnight, what was Fabio saying, but then we can also looking into this when we use other levels like today, maybe the swing trading levels. And you can see this um, here on my chart. So we have many, many swing trading levels who are now ahead. I will take out every other levels that we only focus on the swing trading levels. So we have the QQQ swing trading levels ahead. We have a bunch of swing trading levels here and a bunch of swing trading levels here. So what we have, so if you want really uh, focus to the up move when the stock market open and you believe that the market can go much higher, what could be very possible, I will not say if we can go down or if we can go up, it could be possible, everything is possible. But you should be aware of these areas where the swing trading levels are. And this is the area where we should go in truth before we can break out really strong. And that's the swing trading levels where you can easily plot on your um, NQ chart with the ratios, with the auto ratios, what we present you, or you can use your manual ratio. It's really simple and easy. And we have also the same picture if we're looking into ES uh, together now, we have the same picture on ES. So we have three bunches of uh, levels here. So one we was coming back from. So we have here the risk triggers from the, from the S&P. We have also risk triggers here, S&P and SPX together, and here also at the top. So for the upside, it's the same picture at the moment on the ES. And this is something really cool, and I love to, to have this on my chart. Because this helps me much more to identify for me, is this now a good decision um, to go long or should I wait for follow truth? Or maybe can I place my short? What obviously was, was working. I was not shorting. I'm not in a trade. Um, as you know, I'm, I'm retired, but this is only something what I will give you.